welcome to Gem Saint Tarot weekend reading for the 27th and the 28th of March. 1,144 interesting and fun facts, random interesting and fun facts that you need to know. This is by Scott Matthews because some of you have been asking me where I got this book. Scott Matthews. Okay. <laughs> the Prince Charles Cinema in London has volunteer ninjas that sneak up and hush anyone in the theatre that's making a noise or throwing things. I love that. Oh my God. An employee at Pixar accidentally deleted a sequence of Toy Story 2 during production. <laughs> that's the kind of thing I could do. What does this button do? <laughs> it would have taken a year, oh my God, to remake what was gone, but luckily another employee had the whole thing backed up on a personal computer. The first commercial flight only lasted 23 minutes and cost $8,500 in today's money. It was between St. Petersburg, Florida and Tampa, Florida. The French language Scrabble, the French language Scrabble world champion doesn't actually speak French, oh my God. Nigel Richards memorised the whole French Scrabble dictionary that contains 386,000 words in nine weeks. I have days when I can't find my own backside with two hands and this person can memorise 386,000 words in nine weeks. Oh, wow. Women have been using pregnancy tests since 1350 BC. They used to pee on wheat and barley seeds to determine if they were pregnant or not. If wheat grew, it predicted a female baby and if barley grew, it predicted a male. If nothing grew, she was not pregnant. This theory was tested and proved accurate 70% of the time. Gosh. Right, I've turned a corner on that one. We're using the vice versa. Woohoo! I'm just seeing, have I got the book for that? Maybe, maybe not. Yes, I have. Okay, and then we're using, because yesterday we kept getting the shamanic card, so I've got my Mystical Shaman Oracle book. We're going to be doing one from those, okay? How are you all doing? Definitely check out your star sign readings. Tarot reading for each star sign is in the description box. That one. Oh, wowzers, okay. It's gonna be a strong one. Let's just put that one away. Well, I might take one of those actually. Yeah, mayhem and mystery people. Mayhem and mystery, lightsabers, two of swords. I love that two of swords. Total lightsabers, pink lightsaber and a blue lightsaber. And then from the back, lightsabers again. Okay, back and forth. Do you remember yesterday we had the two of swords in reverse <coughs> and we were talking about waves and I did an impression of a wave. Okay. We also have, with the Two of Swords, this Moon card. And of course, again, this will not be scientific, the Moon controls tides and pulls and gravity and water and waves and all of that stuff. And there is a certain sense of mystery about this. Pisces and Cancer are mostly associated with the Moon card. This feels because at the top the first card I pulled was the seven of swords yes it feels that's a clandestine card okay somebody operates at night and very often in tarot packs the seven of swords person is operating in moonlight borrowed light shadow shade you know all the kind of not transparency things about the moon Okay, obscurity is what I'm trying to say. Obscurity or not transparency. Okay, itchy nose. 
there's a feeling here of something being really nebulous and hidden and I feel like it's what we were dealing with yesterday and again over here we've got the five of cups what is spilt what is lost what we regret what has passed fives are great disruptors very Darth Vader by the way yes Fives are great disruptors in tarot. So the five is something that comes in like an infiltrating card. What is, what's the word? Disturbing you is something emotional. It's something wavy, watery, unquantifiable, difficult to manage. I am going to take a card from the kitchen tarot this is a major arcana only deck designed around the kitchen. Feels like that one. Yes. How strange. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. We get the pressure cooker which is also known as the tower. Yeah, maybe we're building up to something where the lid needs to come off and there needs to be steam. It does feel that way, like building up to a storm of some kind and the five is a disruptor. Now look, we also have the ace of wands, which I really like this energy. This is what they call kinetic energy. Kinetic energy, something that is very, almost feels physical to me. I feel like something is ramping up like wave energy, building, building and building, but we just don't quite know what it is. Now, if you are dealing in any kind of relationship stuff where you feel you may have been betrayed or that somebody may, do you remember we had the thief card yesterday, have taken something from you those feelings may really build and exacerbate. I'm going to take another one of the Chuck Spezzano cards. I'm going to do a big girl shuffle. Doing a big girl shuffle, Chuck. Oh, Christ. I'm going to take one more. Do you know what? I, I just absolutely knew it as well. Yeah, okay. Shamanic test. Again, this is a very strong message. It might not be for that many people. Seeing if I can show you the card better, that's better. If I very technically put that curtain across, we'll get a better look. Shamanic test. And we have the victim card of the hidden self. Wowzers. I'm just seeing one moment. <sighs> yes. This is the book that goes with it. I don't normally look in books, but I'm going to because that's the third day in a row that the card has come up. Right. Number 19. A great challenge offering a leap into a new level of consciousness, vision and power. If you receive this card when you've been, if you receive this card when you're asking about a past situation, and do you remember yesterday we had the Six of Cups? Though typically suppressed or repressed to withstand the pain, there is a good chance you felt you failed the test. If you're in the middle of a situation now, know that the energies from the depths of your mind are at play here, bringing about this situation. The first part is to see this challenge as an opportunity in which there's a way to succeed, which is to raise you to a new level of vision, birth, love, creativity, psychic ability, artistical healing power, 
it can also bring a whole new level of relationship. Wowzers. With awareness, venturing everything, totally giving every bit of yourself, asking for help from your higher mind, being open to inspiration and putting it all on the line, you will succeed in passing a shamanic or a mastery level test. You will then gain a new level of consciousness that can be used in service for yourself, artistic service, healing service, or whatever medium shows itself. The fact that you are facing this test means an aware part of you must have believed it was possible for you to succeed, the pressure cooker. Now I pulled another card with it and we get victim of the hidden self. And again, this is really going to the depths of your own personality here. It's not for everybody, okay? Very, very interesting. And I feel that Ace of Wands will help in this. Healing with the Angels Oracle card, we get signs. And the clock was on 11.11 when we did that. Okay, these are signs. You don't really look for them. You just keep yourself open, okay? Because this is not easy stuff here and it's quite esoteric. You know, I'm, I'm getting a bit like, <laughs> I can feel, yeah, I definitely need your comments on this reading. Let's just put it that way. I'm gonna leave it there. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. Namaste.